Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm now ready to start the modules for how to set up a cooperative, a co-op, as it were. The first question that you need to ask yourself, well, what's so big about setting up a cooperative as to opposed to a corporation? It's this very simple words. And yes, there are many other benefits for setting up a cooperative, but here's the biggest one. Governments throughout the world, including your own governments, have no jurisdiction when you have a cooperative or when you are part of a cooperative. To remind yourself of my previous broadcasts, you know I told you most of the people and the governments will become cooperatives. At the moment, governments are set up as cooperatives, but the rules and regulations that they pass, they only make reference to corporation. They are part of a corporate law. So follow what I have said to its logical conclusion. And what is that? What are the governments doing all around the world in Canada, US, Australia? What is it that they're doing? They're hacking into every corporation. And one corporation is cannibalizing on another corporation, right down to its individual constitutional parts what you and I call individuals. Individuals is what? It's another name for a corporation. Not a cooperative, not for a man or a woman or even human. An individual is another way that you identify a corporate entity. These are the tricks that they pull on you. This is broken up in many modules. I think it's about six modules that I've broken it up into. And it is gearing my Tricks and Traps students, as well as those people that want to learn that module and that modules alone with me. Your names will be listed. And the only way that you can become a student of mine is through an interview. Those interviews are normally held on a Thursday. I want to make it very clear. If you want to learn this, which is absolutely essential because of that key word that I used, is that the government have no control over cooperatives. That in itself should perk up your ears. I will only teach this to my existing Tricks and Traps students, so you can consider this as part of the module. And for those people that want to learn it, that want to learn it, you have to do an interview with me for me to approve. Uh, there is a fee for the interview, and that fee will go towards the studentship. And in addition to that, it's for you and you alone. You won't share the recordings or the anybody, anything like that with anybody else. And your name will be listed just like for who God is, just like the Dick, uh, Dictionary Club, and just as this module, your name will be listed on my website as a student learning how to set up and how cooperatives run. Look around the world. Look what your governments are doing. You want to bypass all that kind of garbage, including the central banking systems all around the world? and the collapsing money markets, as it were, all of you are going to become rich and powerful. Power over yourself, not other people. Rich in so far as that you have an easy cash flow. Learning this tool enables you to keep what is yours. It even bypasses the central banking systems throughout the world. Full stop. Any other bits of information, I will uh, put it into this email. 
make sure that you have your Zoom operational and that you have your photo ID with the with the sensitive data like serial numbers and etc blotted out. Now on the interview, make sure your camera and your mic is working so I can approve you there and then. If you mess about or if you think that uh, you can be wise with these things and it's not going to happen, I'll just kick you out. There's no guarantee that I will accept you. Okay? And because of this detailed information that I've re revealed to you, there are many stupid people that don't want to learn how things are done and think, oh gosh, I can bypass government laws. Those sort of people, I really don't want you because you have like a, a criminal mind, if you like. So if you are an honorable man, an honorable woman, in its most harmonic connotation, I'll take you on a student. Look, I've put together the Dictionary Club. I've put together even who God is for the task force. And my intention is to break the foundations of governmental corruption and the magnitude of other these things. And to be able to safeguard my students in such a way with this kind of educational program. I mean, how powerful a tool is it for me to say, did you know governments have no control over cooperatives? The way that the world is revolving now is that the cottage industry and the, the men and women that want to go into business, everything will be in their favor. Everything. You see, Bitcoin is quite literally eating up the world of fictional currency. And it's also eating up the world of the cooperative, uh, sorry, the world of the corporation. But like, you know, so many corporations, not spelt with the double O, so many of them just simply cannibalize on men and women and other corporations. All this is coming to a stop. If you want to remind yourself, just think back what the lockdown was about. Just think back what all that bloody nonsense with COVID and etc. was about and wearing of the mask. As I said to you, when the masks come off, the masks that people wear, including the mask of being a, a corporation. All corporations wear a mask. When this comes off, the world would have changed as how we do business as well. And they'll convert into cottage industries working on the principles of being a cooperative. All that is earmarked for the next few months. That's how rapidly the financial world, the business world, is changing. Your governments is earmarked for reduction by 80, 90 percent before 2030 as part of Agenda 2030. Until then, the dates are below. Okay, don't get it confused with the Dictionary Club because that will be running uh, just so like one and a half hours before the first of this module will run. It should also be on a Sunday. Look after yourself, ladies and gentlemen. Meet you soon. Bye-bye now.